Welcome everyone to the channel. It's going to be an exciting game at the weekend at Anfield. Leicester in third in the Premier League. And guess what? I have a match preview with you with the Anfield agenda. I have Craig here from the Anfield agenda who's going to give his thoughts and his perspective of the game. Take it away, Craig. Hi guys, Craig here from Anfield Agenda and Lee has asked me to give you guys a little Liverpool perspective on the game on Saturday at Anfield. Um, as I said in my previous videos and the videos over on my own channel, when Leicester City come to Anfield or whenever we play Leicester City, I get nervous because Leicester City are a side that, that always gives 100%. Uh, Jamie Vardy in particular is a massive pain in the backside to Liverpool Football Club because he just loves scoring against us. Um, this is going to be a tight, intense game, ladies and gents, and obviously from my perspective, I'm going to back a Liverpool win. We've got a tremendous record at Anfield on the Jurgen Klopp. Two and a half years unbeaten in the Premier League. We're on a 16-game winning streak as well, taking account of the end of last season, and obviously seven wins from seven so far this season. But that's not to underplay what Leicester have done. 14 points so far for you guys, sitting third in the Premier League. Um, what gives me more confidence is the fact that Leicester City have only taken four points away from home in their three games so far this season. And look, it's difficult. Going away from home in the Premier League is very difficult. But the fact that 10 of your points have come from the King Power Stadium just, I mean, lets you know you've turned that place into a fortress. And, and that's a great thing to see, much like ourselves at Anfield. But... I just feel that the men momentum is with Liverpool in the season and if we can make eight wins from eight from our side, head into the international break on maximum points, it will pile the pressure back onto Manchester City. Um, I want to single out a couple of Leicester City players for, I suppose, praise. It's easy for me to sit here and talk about James Madison. He's kind of the in-vogue player, isn't he? The player that's getting all the headlines. But your two full-backs are people that are, are players that I think... I've kind of gone a little bit unnoticed by many opposition fans. Ben Chilwell is a name that's been around for a few years. He's been a name that's always been linked with a move away from Leicester. But that move has never materialised. And I think he's done the right thing by staying there and progressing his career. And on the other side, Pereira as well. I mean, who hasn't got Pereira in their fantasy football team at this moment in time? I think he topped the power rankings as well for last week after your fantastic victory. Um, look, this is going to be a difficult game, ladies and gents. I'm going for a 2-1 win to Liverpool. Um, and usually I'm a bit more braggadocious, maybe if that's the right word. Excuse my, my choice of phraseology there. Usually I'm a bit more optimistic when Liverpool are home. But I know how difficult this game will be. And I know how hard Brendan Rodgers will want to come to, to Liverpool. And maybe prove a point to the Liverpool faithful. Because we were split down the middle with Brendan Rodgers in his time here one thing I've always said about him is he's a fantastic coach if you're looking for somebody to bring through younger players um, and and establish them with the football team I think you you can't do much better than Rodgers to be fair unless you go up an elite level to the likes of Jurgen Klopp and stuff like that from Leicester City's perspective I suppose you guys your aim this season is obviously a European place I think you'll do that um, top four could be an ask, but it's not out of the question. It's just you're sitting there right now in third spot. And Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, they're not looking too great this season. So there could be a chance for Leicester to nip in there and, and nick, nick that fourth spot. But if not, I would say you're nailed on for top six. Um, a lot of love for Leicester from Liverpool fans. A lot of love for Leicester from, I think, opposition fans around, up, around the, the country because... You're a good side. Play football in the right way. Make your purchases in the right way. Run your club in the right way. So look, after this game, I do wish you guys every success going forward. But I can't wish you luck this weekend because obviously I'm going to want Liverpool to win. That being said, make sure you subscribe to Lee's channel. Make sure you give him some comments below. And let me know your thoughts as well if you want to pop over to Anfield Agenda and say hello. It's been a pleasure chatting with you guys after Saturday. I wish you guys the best of luck with the rest of the season. I'll end as I always do on my side by saying up the reds. But love to you all. So thank you for coming on, Craig. An absolutely amazing channel there from the Anfield Agenda. You can follow those in the description of the video. I'll put all of these socials and the YouTube link to, to subscribe to his channel. Why not? I'm going for a 2-1 Leicester win. I think it's going to be a shock game and I'm going for a 2-1. I've changed my mind. I did say 2-2 in the week, but I'm going to go for a 2-1. I've changed my mind. I want Leicester to push for Champions League football and I think we can do it. We have the talent and we have the right manager and above all else, I think we have the faith. We have belief backing the club now with the owners. I'm going for 2-1. Make sure you hit my subscribe button. Follow me at Leon Score Chappie. I shall see you on the next video after the Leicester Liverpool game at Anfield. Come on, Leicester! Come on!